हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रभा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन ओरिएंटल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी भोपाल टुडे माय लेक्चर टॉपिक इज डेल्टा मॉडुलेशन आल्सो नोन एज डी एम दिस टॉपिक कम्स अंडर द सब्जेक्ट डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन एज वी ऑल नो द डिजिटल सिग्नल्स आर बेटर देन द एनलॉग सिग्नल बिकॉज दे हैव लेस नॉइज एंड दे कैन बी ईजिली रिकवर्ड For this reason, we convert analog signal into digital data. For convert analog signal into digital data, we are using two method. First is PCM (pulse code modulation) and second is DM (delta modulation). In the last lecture, we have studied about PCM (pulse code modulation). In the today lecture, our topic is delta modulation. In the delta modulation, we are using one bit per sample instead of n bit per samples. in the pcm we are using n bit per samples but in delta modulation we are using only one bit per sample that is zero or one if the pulse is lower in value resulting in a negative value that means a zero is using but if the single bit a one is used for indicate the positive value if the pulse is higher in value this scheme works well for the small changes in signal values between the samples if changes in amplitude are large this will result in large errors this is a process of delta modulation we are using a staircase signal step size is fixed that is d or also known as delta the pulse width is t we are generating a staircase signal if the staircase signal is increasing we are using one and if the staircase is decreasing we are using only zero we are using one bit per sample here the in the delta modulation step size is fixed the staircase signal follows the amplitude of the message signal this is delta modulation transmitter in the delta modulation transmitter important blocks are comparator delay unit and staircase maker in the comparator we give as a input analog signal and the delay of the staircase maker signal we generate a staircase signal delay it and give to the input of comparator in the comparator the analog signal and the delayed output of staircase signal compared and digital signal generated delta modulation demodulation component or delta demodulation receiver in the delta modulation receiver again the three important blocks are staircase maker delay unit and the low pass filter the staircase output and its delayed version goes through the low pass filter low pass filter rejects the carrier signal and passes only message signal and we get our analog signal in the delta modulation we suffer two types of errors that is slope overload distortion and granular noise the slope overload distortions occurs when the staircase signal not follows the analog input if the amplitude is empty of the analog input signal and the staircase output is mqt empty and mqt are not following that means there is a error that is slope overload distortion because there is delta size is fixed this is known as slope overload distortion in opposite if there is a slow varying signal and the step size is increasing and decreasing and we detect this signal then we get a dc signal but this is not a dc signal this is a slow varying signal this noise is granular noise sampling and quantization effect granular noise what is granular noise resulting when the quantization levels are not finely spaced apart enough to accurately approximate input signal resulting in truncating or rounding error second is slope overload noise resulting when input signal is larger in magnitude than highest approximation level that results in clipping of the signal timing jitter error caused by a shift in the sampler position can be isolated with the stable clock reference there are some channel effects also that is channel noise and the isi inter symbol interference suppose the quantization error is denoted by qn so mqn equals to mn minus qn so we have error equals to mn minus m of n minus 1 minus q of n minus 
for q n minus 1 the quantizer input is the first backward difference of the input signal to avoid the slope over dot distortion the condition is step size delta by t s always greater than equals to maximum of d by d t m t on the other hand the granular noise occurs when the step size delta is too large relative to the local slope of m t or avoid the conditions of slope overload distortion and granular noise these conditions have to satisfied adaptive delta modulation adaptive delta modulation is a scheme to solve the problems occurs in delta modulation that is slope over distortion and granular noise in adaptive delta modulation or also known as delta sigma modulation which has an integrator and relieve the drawback of delta modulation benefits effect of using integrators are pre emphasize the low frequency content component increase the correlation between the samples simplify the receiver design because the transmitter has an integrator the receiver consists simply of a low pass filter the differentiator in the conventional dm receiver is cancelled by the integrator in the delta sigma modulation or ad adaptive delta modulation we have variable step size according to the mt the step size increases or decreases if the step size not follows the analog input signals amplitude that the slope overload gener generated so we are increasing the step size to follow the mt or we are decreasing the step size to follow the mt this is the block diagram of transmitter and receiver of delta sigma modulation there are two types of uh, transmitter receiver when first we are using integrator and second we are using comparator first integrator then comparator in the second first comparator and then the integrator this is a adaptive delta sigma transmitter and receiver block diagram the advantage is to reduce the granular noise and slope overload distortion in the delta modulation we are reducing the bandwidth because in the pcm we are using n number of bits per sample but in the delta modulation we are using one bit per sample that is 0 and 1 so the bandwidth is reducing bus but in the cost of galvanic noise and slope overload distortion to solve this problems galvanic noise and the slope overload distortion we are using adaptive delta modulation in adaptive delta modulation the step size is adaptive that means we are increasing or decreasing the step size according to our requirement this is known as adaptive delta modulation thank you for this video for more details and doubts you can contact me at my number or you can write me mail